All right, back at y'all with some more boxing news and updates. You already know this your boy love on the hate wine. Let's go ahead and talk about this. Now, I actually got a lot to say about this press conference, y'all. You guys know how I bring it. I'm going to get deep. But before I do that, I just want to give you guys about a good 30 seconds just to feel the intensity that was going on in this building. No, you guys seen it, trust me. But I just want to freshen your brain by the time I come back and talk my. Okay, okay, okay. Go ahead, Finn. Go ahead, Finn. Go ahead, Finn. You fucking crazy? What you want to do? Go ahead, Finn. What you want to do? No, it's good. We could have got outside the fucking hotel. You're a fucking pussy. You had all these fucking people with you. This dude ain't scared. This dude ain't scared. That's what, man. He, he, all right. He's so mad. He's so mad. I'm about to beat the fuck he's out. He's so mad. You're not going to do nothing. I'm about to beat the fuck out this pussy right here. So, anyway. All right, now I know you guys seen the title when I said that David Benavidez may be in some trouble. Don't get it twisted. I got David Benavidez edge in this fight. But the fact that Caleb Plant can possibly be in this man's head, we can't just overlook that. Now, I'm not going to look into this too much because David Benavidez has not been liking Caleb Plant for years. And that don't automatically mean you're going to win the fight just because you're able to keep your cool. You know, we see Canelo lose his cool a little bit versus Caleb Plant. And what happened? Caleb Plant still got knocked out. But the difference between Canelo and David Benavidez is Canelo been on a whole bunch of big stages. So Canelo is smart enough to understand, yeah, I may have lost my cool a little bit in the pre-fight. But once we in that ring... I'm going to keep my core and stay poised. So if David Benavidez come in this fight with any type of energy that he had at his press conference, he can be in trouble. And I'm not buying this whole Sweet Hands being the pillow puncher stuff anymore, y'all. Sweet Hands can punch. Like I told you guys before, Anthony Durrell has faced a whole lot of punchers, serious punchers, and didn't even budge, barely been even hurt. So I don't want to hear none of that pillow fisted shit regarding to Caleb Plant and his power no more. All right. Now, back to David Benavidez. I don't want to rant. David Benavidez, first of all, he's in here looking like Jose Benavidez. I didn't know was it Jose or fucking David. That may be his downfall if you really want to keep it 100. You can't come in here, glasses, hairstyle, looking like your big brother, think you're going to win the fight. Now I'm just fuck with you on that part. As far as the press conference, you guys, Caleb Plant definitely kept his cool. He wasn't rattled. He didn't look scared to me. I know they were trying to say that, but I didn't see it. But I did notice this, though. When Benavidez hopped up and, like, got in his face, if you look at Caleb Plant's body language, Caleb Plant had his hands in his pocket. That's a bad sign to me and an indicator of, oh shit, it may actually go down. When somebody is charging at you, basically, because Benavidez kind of charged at him, you're not supposed to have your hands in your pocket. But I'm not going to put too much emphasis on that. Reason being is because I don't think none of these guys are scared of each other because they could have found a way to get out of the fight and not fight each other. But all you guys out there calling David emotional, just shut up. I don't really want to hear that part. Yeah, it may have seemed that way, but if you be honest, that's what we want in boxing. That type of stuff, drama, controversy, sells the fight. So we can't sit here and act like we wanted both of these guys to just be calm and say a few words to each other. No, we want the extra controversy the extra shenanigans the back and forth i kind of liked how david and vita has gotten his face like i'll punch you right now you don't want who was outside that's what we want people i really don't like the fact that you see two people arguing and one person is a little more cool than the other and then you want to say oh he was more cool so he won the argument or the debate nah we like a little passion sometimes Dave Benavidez is passionate that he's going to stop Caleb Platt. 
Once again, could that be his downfall? We don't know. In the sport of boxing, we've seen it all. Nothing can surprise us if you are a real boxing fan. Let me say that. But one thing I will say before I get up out of here is this made me want to see this fight even more. David, yes, he got a tiny bit emotional. I don't think he was just emotional. Yeah, he was a little bit emotional, but that's what we want to see. That's my thoughts on this shit. I am out.